Hi, Chris Wallace from Second Swing. We're in Carlsbad, California today at Callaway headquarters. I'm with Stephen from Callaway. Stephen, good to see you. Yeah, good to see you too, Chris. Thanks for coming in and uh, can't wait to talk about some of this new product with you. Yeah, we're super excited. Now, you guys had a monster 2017 with Epic back in 2018 with a new line of clubs, mm -hmm. Rogue. We're going to specifically talk about the new Rogue drivers. There's three models right now. Mm -hmm. There's a lot going on from a technology standpoint. Tell us a little bit about what's going on with Rogue. Yeah, I mean, we've decided to up the ante for 2018 and uh, really push the boundaries and really break through. Uh, so we've come out with the Rogue line of products that feature some key technologies that really build upon uh, what we had done last year um, on, on the Epic driver. So uh, increased jailbreak technology, a better carbon composite, and uh, a much bigger footprint um, a clean, bigger footprint that increases the MOI of, uh, of the new road driver. And we were talking earlier, and specifically with jailbreak, mm -hmm. you know, it's still here, but uh, there's been some tweaks to the titanium rods that are making this even uh, more playable. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So we've uh, worked with the R&D team, and, you know, they are the, the best in the business, um, and they always want to get better. So what we've done uh, is basically made the the rods more of an hourglass kind of shape basically okay. making the uh, ball speed much quicker um, the weight of the bars much lighter and kind of the combination of those two things really packs a better punch uh, and increases the jailbreak effect in, in these drivers yeah and you mentioned the bigger footprint higher MOI mm -hmm. There weren't many knocks on Epic, but there were some people who thought they could be a little bit more forgiving, and that's totally been addressed with these drivers. Yeah, it's pretty interesting. I mean, uh, Epic was a was a great driver last year and was actually very forgiving. But to your point, there were some some kind of kickbacks, and one was the the MOI or the forgiveness of it. So uh, we've addressed that, increased the footprint. Again, it's not entirely you know massive from back to front but it's a very clean and subtle change uh, if you were to compare epic with with rogue right now uh, it just looks a, a slightly bigger off the back but the increased moi that you receive off of it is is absolutely phenomenal and then some other things that people really liked about epic you're going to find in this driver you mentioned the carbon crown which mm -hmm. helps you really get that low deep cg mm -hmm. and it's also some of the stuff you've done with the the crown and the speed step with Boeing and aerodynamics. Yeah, we've got the um, we've got the Boeing speed package or the Boeing uh, aero package back into this uh, particular driver and, and really just a combination of everything has has taken it to that to that next level. Uh, again, the, the jailbreak technology as far as the, the bars, um, the increased MOI and then uh, the, the crown and, and the aero package. Yeah, it's just been great. And of course also new is a third model of mm -hmm. the driver. You've got a draw version, mm -hmm. and people will also notice that the the standard Rogue, as opposed to the the Epic, does no longer has the sliding weight. It's got a fixed weight. Correct. Yeah. So the cool thing about the the draw version that we have right now is that if you compared or looked at the standard Rogue versus the draw, you're not going to see too much of a difference. We didn't add a hook face to it. Uh, there's not sort of any offset things like that. I mean, it's a very clean driver, and what we've done is increase the weight uh, positioning. Uh, and move that obviously towards the heel. So it's a very clean driver at address. And for those that are struggling hitting the cut, you know, they'll be able to, to mitigate that with that draw version. So. Yeah, and for those players who sort of fight that block, that shot that just for right handers that wants to go right, having that weight in the heel helps them sort of release the toe and impact, hit more straight or accurate shots. Right, yeah, exactly, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And then in the sub zero, same sort of setup as last year, you've got a heavy weight and a lighter weight. Mm -hmm. So players can position the heavy weight forward really knock their spin rate down and sort of hit that flatter trajectory. Yeah, let me look at apples to apples, um, the Epic Sub-Zero versus the Rogue Sub-Zero, there's definitely a night and day difference as far as um, the trajectory that you're gonna see. They're both gonna be flat, but in terms of that extra MOI and that extra forgiveness, I mean, uh, someone playing a Sub-Zero probably doesn't need it, but we've found that it's a really good ball flight and the misses are even, are even better as far as uh, assistance. Steven, great information. We appreciate it. Cool. Thank you, Chris. Yep.